folks, thanks for joining me today. So in today's tutorial, we're going to be doing a CD wind spinner. So I'm just showing you the different types of the rainbow reflection that's on different types of CDs and DVDs and things like that. But I paint them with spray paint. So I use this Rust-Oleum um, uh, paint, I spray it, uh, and this is the finish that I get. It's flat and it's satin color or satin finish, I should say. Um, so it doesn't add a lot of glare because I really want the design to show up. And this is the really cool thing about doing it on a CD is there's already lines created for you. And this is what makes it so easy. So I'm doing my dots to go around the outside of that first circle dot or circle line that we see there. So I'm doing top, bottom, left, right, or if you're directional, north, south, east and west. And then I'm going in between those. So if you want to stick with the directional that I'm going um, northeast, southwest, northwest, southeast. Then what I do is I go in between and I make more dots to fill up that extra space. Unfortunately, you can't see right now because I decided to use white paint and center the CD in exactly where my lighting glare is. So <laughs> unfortunately, you'll only be able, be able to see it every time I put my hand over it and block the light and you can see or when I pick it up to turn it around right now, there you go. So um, you've seen some of my other tutorials. It's the same kind of concept, getting your first circle done um, and putting all of your dots down. And that's it. So um, I do this with, a, like I said, I do this with a lot of CDs that I have. You can't really use them much anymore um, if you're lucky enough to still have a CD player. Uh, and still listen to the CDs, but everything is so downloadable now and streaming and everything like that. A lot of these have sort of lived their life and now I'm bringing them a new life. Um, these are also ones too that I've had that um, if you remember way back in the day when we used to uh, transport transport our videos and like home videos and pictures and things like that onto CDs and DVDs and we'd give them out to people. Well, I don't know if you did that, but I did. Um, and uh, these were just leftovers that uh, they're blank. They're not going to be used for anything. So I decided to do these. Other things or other ones that I've used have been CDs that were music CDs and they had been scratched so badly that there was no repairing them. So I am not going out and destroying um, something that perfectly works fine. I'm just using whatever won't work fine or is no longer usable or needed or you know what I mean. So I'm just up upcycling it. So back to what I'm doing here. Um, I used my... Um, dotting tool there and I put on a slightly bigger dot of this kind of like a fuchsia color. Um, I believe it's called uh, Vivid Violet uh, by Americana. Now I do have all of the uh, brand names and the names of the paints that I use listed in the description below. So if you're interested in doing one with the same colors, that's where you'll find all that information. However, I do encourage you to make this your own. Maybe purple and um, pinks and blues are not your favorite color or maybe it's not part of your palette. Maybe you have something with greens and yellows. I totally encourage you to go ahead and do whatever color you wish. Uh, you can certainly follow along and use the same pattern. You can use the same pattern a hundred million times with different color combinations and it'll always be different. So um, just make it your own and have a lot of fun with this. So you may have noticed in the um, title of this, it's called the um, CD Wind Spinner Side A. 
So that's because I paint both the side A and the side B. And then there is also going to be a third video to this. So the third video is going to be how to put it all together. So this one's going to be about painting side A. And then the next video, which will be released within 24 hours of this one, um, it's doing side B. And then within 24 hours of that one being posted, I will release the third third installment of this mini series and it'll show you how to do um, the uh, attaching the beads to bling it up to uh, put the hangers on it and what I use again it's what I use it does not mean that is what you need to use it's just suggestion but it's what works for me and uh You'll see it when, when we get it posted, but is definitely an awesome mini series to watch. And I know I promised that I would have this out to you and it has taken me a lot longer to get it completed, but finally it is here and I'm so happy to be able to share this with you because it, I enjoy doing these so, so much. And like I said, if, if you're looking at something to do for a craft show, that uh, is quick and easy, um, uses up a lot of old stock that you might have. Um, it's a great way to do that and make a couple bucks on the side. Uh, it's just, and it's so much fun, really. Um, so I'm using um, my dotting tools that I got from the Dotting Center. If you're interested in getting yourself your own set, please head on over to the Dotting Center by following the link in the description below. There is also a coupon code uh, so you can get 10% off if you're interested. So make sure you read the description before you head on over there. And um, again, like I said, all of my uh, colors are listed below. Right now I'm using um, a petunia purple and uh, I'm just continuing my design to go around and around and Basically, the best way for me to describe uh, what exactly I am doing is if we refer to the dots as peaks and valleys. So you've got the top of the, the dot, which would be your peaks. Then your valleys will be where the two dots start to come down and towards each other. I call those the valleys. So what I'm doing is I'm actually putting down a dot sort of centered in that valley of the dots from the row before it. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Um, so that's what I'm doing uh, for this entire design on side A. It's just a very simple, easy design to follow. I tried to do it as a uh, gradual kind of moving out from one color to the next. And then of course I'm finishing it off with a contrast color so that it really captures and closes in the entire design. So I'm using patina for this particular one and I use the same colors on the opposite side, so on side B, but I do a different design. So you'll have to wait until I post the next video for you to be able to see that but it is really, really interesting in how you can make different designs with using the same colors or using the same design using different colors. Uh, so now I'm going in and I just want to finish it off by and closing in all of those kind of little dark areas. Um, and I'm using my small dotting tool and I'm just putting in white dots. And I'm, again, this is hard to describe, but with the peaks and valleys, I'm going, uh, putting a little dot at the peak of the dot, but where the valley is, we'll say below it. So the row before it, um, you have at least a visual as I'm talking. So then you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, describing it sometimes isn't the easiest, but that's the way I see it. When I'm doing it myself, I'm calling them peaks and valleys. And uh, that's how I sort of 
make sense of it. So uh, let me know if it makes sense to you or if you've got another way of do, doing this or explaining it. But um, it doesn't really matter as long as you understand what exactly I am doing. And the most thing that, or the, yes, the most important thing is that you're having fun doing this. Okay. So this is, this is to help, at least for me, it helps me when I'm having a bad day or if, you know, the weather's kind of gloomy outside, I come home and I sit down, I pull out a CD and I paint it. And I'm telling you some of the designs I've come up with just by not even paying attention to any kind of a pattern or template or anything like that. I just go ahead and do it. Some of them are turned out so beautifully. Others, on the other hand, have not done so well. So, <laughs> but that's okay because you can just spray paint over top of them. You, you may want to sand it down first though, because you will have these bumps here. Um, but other than that, it should be good to go. Uh, so as I've been rambling on here, I've been adding more white dots uh, just to tie it all in together and um, got to throw in some dots to walk as well. So I'm walking some dots around the smaller patina dots and that's about it. So there you have it, folks. Stay tuned for side B and life is what you make it. So get creative. Mm -hmm.